What's up, world? I'm Al Brunel. We're here at Channel Street Skate Park in San Pedro, California. And now on, I'm gonna do less talking, more skating. It's something I kinda wanna do. YouTube's for me is more about the skating. So, you know, enough talking already. Let's jump into it. Let's get some warm-ups going. Channel Street's sick because it's back in action. Um, kinda retired from the skate scene. They're about to put an exit onto the freeway at this spot. And we kept putting on petitions, the whole skate community, to keep this place because there was so much money and work put into it. Um, so, you know, about eight years later, it's finally skatable. So me and Daddy made the trip down here from San Diego and we are going to uh, really get into it because to be honest with you guys, this is probably my favorite bridge park, favorite DIY skate park. It is just so fun. So I'm talking again, let's go skate. There's one plus about coming and skating Channel Street is that it's not all advanced. You don't come here and it's just all gnarly big transition. There's smaller parts outside and it lets you warm up to the big three bowls that are inside. And even the three bowls, they're all different in different ways. You know, the middle one's a little bit more gnarly, steeper transition. Middle one's more of like a mini ramp flow bowl where you can learn tricks. And then that end bowl has, you know, some crazy features and it has some metal coping. My favorite thing about Channel Street is that it is 100% transition. Uh, not only that, since the old one, it's new and upgraded. They got new walls, they got new railing around it. A lot of new upgrades. I recommend anyone in the area come check this place out. Um, and it's in San Pedro, weather's nice. It's right by the beach, right by the ocean. A lot of spots nearby. You can make a whole day of it. one end of the park now this is the other end of the park it's the more most inland part of the bridge most covered this is like the first part they started building that doorway was like the first feature that like created channel street and then they started building from there but uh yeah it's cool that they kept this bowl they didn't make any changes they didn't add anything new it's always stayed the same it's pretty rad
some things that they also changed up in this bowl is that back wall right there, how it's against the wall. That was never there before. Um, when the city come, came in and they wanted to like take out the park and put that you know extension on ramp onto the freeway, they uh, started breaking away at that wall, and that's when the skaters came in. They made a petition so that you know the city wouldn't come out and take out this hard work place that you know they made for the community. And uh, so that since they destroyed that wall a little bit, they came in, they repaired it. It's brand new. You can kind of tell the quarter pipe looks brand new with the way it's built. It's that one right there behind me going up against the wall. Um, I do want to blast some airs up there onto it, back into the quarter pipe. I love doing stuff like that. And since it's here at one of my favorite parks under a bridge, you know, I'm gonna have to go and fire it up. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. So stoked that Channel Street is back on the map. If you guys are in San Pedro, in California area, LA, San Diego, you know, I recommend that you guys make the trip up here and come check it out. It is thriving. You know, all the communities out here, everybody's killing it. So come check it. Thanks for watching everyone. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mash.